Amanda Cover. I am here at Jackson Davis Elementary School with my fantastic third graders. We have been learning about animal adaptations and we will be continuing a three-day lesson, day two on adaptations. All right, boys and girls, so we've been learning about adaptations. Can you say adaptations? Adaptations. Who can tell me what is an adaptation? Sammy, what's an adaptation? A place where an animal Okay, it's something that helps an animal survive in its environment. We've talked about two different types of adaptations. Who can tell me one type of adaptation we've learned about? Ellie? Physical adaptations. Physical adaptations. Can we say physical adaptations? Physical adaptations. Who can tell me what does that mean? What is a physical adaptation? Reese? Something you can see. Something you can see on an animal's body. And why do animals sometimes have physical adaptations? Um, because, so they can survive? Good, so that they can survive in their environment. All right, so we have physical adaptations. What is the other type of adaptation we've learned about? Uh, Vibov? Behavioral adaptations. Behavioral adaptations. Can we say behavioral adaptation? Behavioral adaptation. Nice job. Who can tell me what that means? What is a behavioral adaptation? Como? It's an adaptation that helps an animal, I mean, it's an action that helps it survive in its habitat. Good, it's an action. A behavior is an action. It's something the animal is doing. All right, so we have two songs that we've been practicing. So why don't we go ahead and review our songs, if you'd like to stand up. All right, why don't we sing our behavioral adaptation song first? Are you ready? All right. Behavioral adaptations you can do. You can do. Behavioral adaptations you can do. You can do. Like fly and run and swim and snooze. Behavioral adaptations you can do. You can do. All right, let's do our physical adaptations. Are you ready? All right. Physical adaptations you can see. You can see. Physical adaptations you can see. Like eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Physical adaptations you can see. Great job, guys. All right, you can have a seat. So um, today we are going to be focusing on those physical adaptations, the adaptations that you can see. There's something on the animal's body that is helping it survive in its environment. Who can tell me some examples of some animals that have a physical adaptation? Sophie. Polar bears have camouflage. Ooh, polar bears have camouflage. Can you tell me what camouflage is? Camouflage is a shape, a pattern, or, or a color on an animal's skin and that helps it blend it into its Good, it helps it blend into its surroundings. So why would that be a helpful adaptation? Um, it would be a helpful adaptation uh, they not get eaten by the predator. They might not get eaten by a predator. That's a great adaptation. All right, so camouflage. Can we have another example of a physical adaptation? May? Um, forgot. You forgot. <laughs> Somebody else have one? Mika. Mimicry. Mimicry. What is mimicry? It's an animal that looks like another animal to survive. Yeah, why would an animal want to look like another animal? So, um, like maybe because like the an other animal gets eaten and that one doesn't? Okay, because another animal might eat it. Does anybody else know another reason animals sometimes copy or look like another animal? Raiden? So, Yes, yeah, sometimes animals are poisonous and one isn't, so it might want to look like the animal that's poisonous. Would you want to go eat a butterfly if, it was, if you might not know if it's poisonous? No. Very good. So um, earlier this week we were brainstorming and we learned that we are going to be creating a class creature. And for our class creature, we're going to be today talking about physical adaptations and later on tomorrow we're going to be talking about behavioral adaptations. So we did some brainstorming. 
um, about our class creature. And we wanted to first pick a habitat, a place for the animal to live. So we brainstormed lots of different habitats and we voted on the forest. So our forest is the habitat where our creature is going to be living. We also talked about some, um, what kind of things we wanted it to eat and what kind of things might eat our creature, right? So does anybody remember some of the things that we said um, might be a predator of our creature? Monesty? Okay, so we said other larger animals that are living in, in the forest, like um, animals like wolves or foxes, some of those creatures. And what was gonna be the prey of our creature? What were some of the things our creature was gonna eat? Sammy? It was gonna be an omnivore and eat plants and animals. Okay, so we decided he, the, he or she, the creature, is gonna be an omnivore and eat some plants and animals. Does anybody remember some of those smaller animals we said that maybe our creature would feast on. Malik? Bugs. Say that one more time. Bugs. Okay, maybe bugs. What else did we talk about that our creature might want to eat? Como? Some small birds. Maybe small birds. We talked about smaller rodents and things like that. So when we're thinking about adaptations to create, we want to think about Adaptations that are going to help our creature be protected from those predators, but also help our creature to eat that prey that the creature is going to eat. All right, so we brainstormed some different body parts that we wanted our creature to have. So if we're looking over here, we see we, uh, I combined some of your ideas into one. So we said like arms and hands, and I kind of combined some of those. So we want our creature to have arms and hands, or legs and feet, a mouth with teeth, a neck, a tongue, some sort of body covering. So we talked about maybe fur or, um, or like a shell or feathers, something to cover its body. Um, ears, eyes, and a nose. And then we talked about some different bonus items. So we said things like maybe we wanted to have a tail, maybe we want to have um, horns, whiskers, something like that. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is you are going to be pairing up with your buddy up buddy. Um, and if your buddy's not here, don't worry, we will find you a buddy. Um, and you are going to be creating a body part for our class creature, all right? So each group is going to get a mystery bag. You maybe noticed, I saw you guys eyeing the bags at the back table as you came in. In the mystery bag, you are going to have some items that you may use to create your creature. Every bag is different, so you don't know what you're gonna get in your bag. And on the bag, there is a slip of paper that is going to tell your group which body part you're going to be creating. So some, one group's going to be making the ears. One group's going to be making the tongue. Okay? And you are going to be working with your buddy to create the body part for our class creature. Now keep in mind, the whole point of this is to create something that is going to help our creature survive in its habitat, which is the forest. So as you're thinking, I want you to ask yourself this question, how is the adaptation helping your creature survive in the forest? Okay, so this is going to be the size of our creature. Here's the head and here's the body. I have them disconnected because someone's gonna be making our neck. So um, once you get with your buddy, you guys are gonna have about eight minutes to brainstorm using the supplies that you have and creating your, um, your body part. Okay. Yes, maybe you have a question? Um, like if someone's building a, if someone's buddy is building the mouth, then the other buddy a buddy can build the teeth. That's a great way to use teamwork. I like that idea. All right, so once you get your bag, do you think it's a good idea to just rip it open and just start cutting and gluing things? Uh, what should you do first before you start trying to build something? Ava? Like kind of think before you're doing. Yeah, you're going to want to think and talk to your buddy about what ideas you have with the materials that you have to get started. Okay, so since we're working with buddies, we want to make sure we sanitize. Who's my sanitizer this week? Last week, will you come give everybody a squirt of sanitizer? Okay, so if you don't remember who your buddy up buddy is, don't forget we can check out our buddy up buddy chart. Um, you may use any of the supplies in your bag. You may use your scissors, which you should already have out on your desk, or your glue. And then I put some construction paper also on the back table that you can use. All right? Yes? Um, 
Um, maybe can we get like a piece of paper and use our pencil to draw what it should look like? You are welcome to do that. But remember, we only have about eight minutes to create, so you don't want to spend too much time planning because then you won't have time to build anything. All right, once you have your sanitizer, you can go find your buddy up buddy and find a spot that you would like to sit away from another group. No peeking in the bags, just grab one and go. Ooh. Can we look at the back table? Um, you can. Where do you want to get? You got the nose? Cool. Yeah, rip it up. See what you got. Yeah. Ears. You wanted ears? Awesome. Okay, open it up and see what supplies you're allowed to use. Rip it open. Yeah. Piece of cardboard. Some recyclables. Maybe I'll get some koala ears. I love koala. You want to make koala ears? I'm not sure yet. Maybe. We don't want to make it. Why do I have so much plastic? It's going to happen. What body part did you guys get? Oh, you already told me mouth and teeth. All right, what are you guys going to create? All right, do you have it? Are you brainstorming some ideas before you start? What are you thinking? We need to make that a little shorter. We're thinking to put this toilet roll in there, this toilet paper roll. Okay, so why do you want the neck to be like that? How is it going to help your creature survive? Does it do anything special? Yes, so it spits ass. Um, I think. What does your neck help you do? I think the long tongue. So it might support the long tongue? Yeah. Okay. You can do it on there. How's it coming over here? We're trying to make it look like poisonous eyes. It, yeah, so, so it can look purple yeah. and blue yeah. eyes. Ooh, the I'm eyes are poisonous. Like, put it like this so it looks like this. So we have to cut off the, like the yeah. I'm going to try to pull it and cut it at the same time. Yeah. That worked out. Oh, wait, I think I got it. Yeah. We, can, we got eyes. We got it. I was hoping to get eyes because I had a boy. Wow. What are you guys working on over here? We're going to make some fur. You're making fur? Uh -huh. Okay, what is your plan? So we like, decided to like make something easy. The fur would be like a uh, easy thing to do because we have the muscles. They can act like fur because they're like soft. So how is the fur going to help it survive? Um, in the winter, it can, like, when it gets cold, it can like, warm up because of its fur. Yes. I love your ideas. And also they eat more in the fall so they can bring stuff for the winter to hibernate. So if it hibernated, then it would have some more warmth than just its fur. Oh, I like that idea. So when we talk about um, behavioral adaptations, we can maybe make it hibernate. I like that. How are you guys doing over here? Um, we're doing nose and um, we're making like a long one um, so that it can like smell farther um, away and um, it helps them like sniff to where the food is and stuff so they can survive in there. How are you guys doing? I'm, I'm thinking of like if we do this like as the arms, but like taking it Yeah, we got some inspiration by taking it out. I like it. So what are you thinking? Do you want it to have long arms or short arms? Yeah, I was thinking yeah. of like long arms because I'm going to yeah. be doing the arms like and doing the hands. All right, well, take a look at the time. You guys only have about five minutes left, so make sure you're, you're starting to build some of your ideas. This could be good for a 
Why might an animal have claws? So it could like grab, like um, so it could like kill or grab some other small animals. I like that idea. All right, go ahead and start building so you don't run out of time. Okay. The extra, um, the bonus items. Yeah. Tusks and whiskers. All right, what are the tusks and whiskers going to help it do? Whiskers are for like sensing if something is there. And um, and like tusk is to scare away their predator. I love that idea. Or them off and giving them a chance to run away. <laughs> They're so cute. Yes. Can I also like um, make like something? Put the claws down and up. You can make whatever you want as long as it's for the hands and arm. Perfect. Can you help me, Mommy? All right, you guys have about five more minutes, so make sure that you're already building. Legs and feet. So the cups are going to be the feet, and then the pipes are going to be the feet. And I can make a wide so it can stand up. I like that. And long so it can run fast. So, how many legs do you want it to have? Just like one, two, four, three, five. It's gonna have five legs? Yeah. Awesome. I think we should do like two on the sides and then like one in the middle because we don't have enough so to put two in two. Yes. You guys doing okay over here? What's your idea? So, we are going to put the top teeth right here, and then the bottom teeth right here, and make it like... This is like a huge mouth? Mm -hmm. Like top. What might sharp teeth help it do? Pump it, like get its prey from like the water maybe. Oh, well, so what water might be in a forest? Oh, I forgot. Like maybe like it, there's like a creek. Like a creek might be in the middle of the forest? Yeah. So what kind of prey might it get out of the creek? Like maybe a water moccasin. Oh, cool. All right, keep working. Y'all are doing a great job. You guys doing okay? Uh -huh. I think we've made progress with the idea I had long term. All right, boys and girls, we are about out of time for creating. So what we're going to do is we're going to share some of our adaptations and tell me why it helps your creature survive. And then later on, we are going to add them to our creature. All right, is there any group who would like to share with the class their adaptation? All right, Kelsey and Kaden, would you guys like to hold up what you made and tell us about it? So we made a nose, and this is like the front of it, and it's going to go like this. And we did a long one so it can smell farther away um, to find food, and then we did this to make it warm. I love it. Great work. All right, anybody else want to share? All right, Mika and Keon, tell us about what you made. Um, we made big ears so like it can hear really well. Just in case, like, if, like, its predator is right behind it, it can jump out because they can, like, hear really well, and then it can get away real quick. Very nice. All right. Um, Ellie and Vibov. So, we you made, like, the legs and feet, and, um, we have, uh, popsicle sticks here, so, like, stick, it can, so. like, wet, it can just, like, go through, and it's, like, hollow, so, yeah. So how would being hollow help it? Like, um, like if it was muddy outside, yeah. and if it was like really, really uh, wet, it could go easily through the mud. Very nice. Well, you guys all did such a great job today creating amazing body parts with adaptations. Um, we are going to be um, combining these in a little bit to put on our creature and also talking about some behavioral adaptations that can go along with our class creature. Great job today. Thank you so much for coming to watch our lesson today. Be safe, be respectful, and be ready to learn. We are